Um, where did I start? Um, first, um, feelings, the most embarrassing time I had in, in a football pitch, with any doubt. Feel sorry for the supporters. I think that we were created something between the team and the supporters. As you know, it's a long trip. They deserve it better. Um, then I can explain to you something about the game until the penalty, really. After that, I got no explanation or whatsoever. Gus, what did you say to the players in the dressing room after the match? I don't write books. What I say in the dressing room stays there. Sorry. In fairness, Gus, you had very good spells in the game. I mean, the first sort of 15, 20 minutes. Well, that, that's the one I can. Is, I, I'm not gonna say that we are going to explain that part because we were dominating, but we started well, we talked about it, uh, we conceded a goal that even if you watch it 20 times you don't know how it can happen. Uh, then the second goal, I think we cleared the ball and hit somebody and went back, with then you're thinking, boy, it's not going to be our day because maybe that kind of unlucky days, and then the penalty. Because if the referee does his job, it's a penalty, it's a red card, maybe 2-1, the thing that we can score a penalty, can't we? And then we're talking about a different game. For sure, no, an 8-0. No? I can assure you that. After that, I can't explain what happened. I'm sorry. I would like the players to come here and explain to you. Maybe they've got better words. I don't. You say it was embarrassing, yes, but have you ever seen any of your teams, either as a player or as a manager, make so many mistakes, individual no. mistakes in one game? Well, that, that's why I use the word embarrassing, because I was trying to be respectful. You know, it's, it's, it's not an easy conference, this one. I need to be very careful what I say, because I don't want to be somebody else I'm not. I, uh, I'm responsible. Okay. Maybe you've got all the, uh, all the mistakes out of the way and we'll go. I hope. Um, it's going to be a difficult week. And the players the next week they are on the pitch, they're going to have to do something about it. Yeah, for sure. Okay. What do you say to the supporters that, that did come all the way down and sometimes comfortable? Look, I, I don't like the apologies because um, apologies look like you've done something, uh, you know, uh, but me, I picked exactly the same thing that we did, the stock with the difference of uh, Billy Jones missing. So it wasn't too good the other day, or it's not too bad today. It's the same players. We started well, like I said, we were on the team, in the, in the game, everything was going all right. The rest, the second half, they showed me, the second half showed me a lot about individuals, a lot. More than what you think. A lot more. You know, you, you learn. It's very easy to, to see your team winning and thinking, oh, he's good, he's good, he's magnificent, he done well. When you lose, and you lose like today, and when you see real characters and real players on the pitch. Will you be able to bring yourself to watch it all back? No, I don't think I'm going to watch it again. No. No, I need a... Uh, you know, sometimes I make some clips I learn it, and yeah. quite good in technology. I wouldn't have time to make as many clips as I need to things that we've done today. So uh, maybe the play we watch. Maybe go do a, a good uh, therapy. You know, put the players to watch themselves. Maybe we do it this week. We didn't do it before, so it's always the first time. You know, because I watch it, you did watch it, no? So maybe it's a good idea that they watch it. We see. Good. Yeah. Thanks, Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. <coughs>